everyone, welcome back to Beyond Studio Pilates, my name is Hannah. Today I want to take you through a mat based routine that I really like to add into kind of the middle of my day. It's a really good strength routine, we're going to look at strengthening and toning up our entire bodies and also there's some super stretches in here as well so I hope you really find it beneficial. Leave me some comments, let me know how you're getting on with my workouts and let's get going. So you're coming down onto your mat thinking about your setup again so knees hips and feet are all in a line so make sure your knees aren't falling into the middle pelvis is a neutral so if you place your fingers on your pubic bone palms on your hip bones and then lift your hands off your hands should be relatively level you shouldn't find that your fingers are pointing up into the air or that your palms are pointing up into the air so your pelvis is in its neutral position next thinking about that spine in its neutral position so your chin should be lifted so make sure you've got a long neck but shouldn't be higher than your forehead so you shouldn't be tilting your head backwards so your chin is lower than your forehead forehead is up a bit but you're not tucking that chin either core engaged pelvic floor on. we're going to do a little curl up now you have a choice you can either put your hands near your ears but careful you don't pull on your neck or you can just slide your hands down your body and I'm going to go for sliding my hands down my body because I feel like it stops me pulling on my neck and actually then my head can be where it wants to be so I think it's quite uh, it's just a little bit nicer so we're holding in the middle for an inhale then you're going to exhale, tuck your chin to your chest and then slide your arms down your body. Check in with that pelvis, so make sure you haven't flattened your back off into the mat. We're going to hold it here for an inhale. And then exhale. Slowly, with control, lower back to the floor, holding at the bottom for an inhale. And exhale. Tuck and hold. And then exhale, slowly back to the mat. We're going to do two more like this and then we're going to add on a little bit of oblique action. So holding at the bottom for an inhale. And exhale. Holding here for an inhale. And exhale. Hold at the bottom for an inhale and exhale hold for an inhale and exhale back to the mat okay so this time we're going to go up and then we're going to and this is where having your arms in your side is better because we're going to stretch our arms down towards our feet now if this gets um, uncomfortable on your neck at any point just bring your head down and you can just do what i was just doing then so just stretching down to each side okay so holding in the middle for an inhale exhale tucking that chin really important you tuck your chin and you don't leave your neck exposed to too much tension so holding it here and then you're going to stretch your left hand towards your left ankle back to the middle right hand towards your right ankle back to the middle so we're going left to left right to right I want you to think about that movement coming through your thoracic spine so your upper body is doing the moving or your mid body is doing the moving upper body is moving with it as you do one more to each side and then slowly lower back down i'm going to do one more of those so holding at the bottom for an inhale exhale tuck your chin holding yourself at the top and then we're going to reach and reach reach and reach think about your shoulder blades sliding down your back make sure they're not up near your ears final time to each ankle and then slowly lowering yourself back to the mat okay to so just work out that upper body a little bit going to bring your elbows so they're just lower than your shoulders so bring your elbows up as high as you can get them without your shoulders creeping up towards your ears then from here you're going to take your palms from palm down and bring them to palm up so your hands are traveling 
So your hands come up so they're near your ears. Core engaged pelvic floor on, and then we're just going to take it back again. So this is really nice for your rotator cuff. So in the back of your back, the back of your back instead of the front of your back. And if you want to, you can bring one or two legs up to tabletop. Just make it a little bit more challenging on that core. That's absolutely fine. Holding it there. Okay, let's do two more. And final one. And then you're going to hug those knees into your chest and just give that back a little rock for me. Then from here, taking your left foot back to the floor, you're going to bring your right leg up and over so your ankle bone isn't on your thigh. Either pushing with your right hand or interlace your fingers behind your left leg and push your right knee out with your right elbow. So just stretching out through that IT, hold it there. bit longer and bring both feet back to the floor bring your left leg up and over make sure your ankle bone isn't on your thigh pushing your knee with your hand or interlacing your fingers behind your leg and pushing with your elbow holding it there bit longer and bring your legs to the floor taking a full body stretch thanks for joining me today please leave me a comment if you did enjoy this routine and I'd love to see you on the mat again very soon so please keep watching my playlists um, for new videos that are added weekly.